The Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations will now come to order. The chair now recognizes himself, that would be me, for five minutes for an opening statement. Welcome, everyone, to what I hope will be a productive fact-finding hearing on the current state of data broker ecosystem. It is obvious from the testimony that a staggering amount of information is collected on Americans every day, frequently without their knowledge or consent. This data then gets shared, analyzed, combined with other data sets bought and sold. In some cases, this data is not even anonymized, meaning that it is easy for bad actors to find deeply personal information on individuals such as their location, demographic data, and health information. Some of these data brokers are companies that most people are familiar with, but others operate in the shadows with many Americans never knowing that they have collect that their data has been collected, bought, or sold. The Fe Federal Trade Commission recently fined an online mental health company, BetterHelp, $7.8 million for disclosing patients' personal health information to advertising platforms such as Facebook and Google without the user's consent. Siphoning off private data of Americans on mobile apps is so incredibly easy. All a data broker has to do is pay an app developer a nominal fee to implant a program within the app that is designed to capture the data of all users. Companies rely on these convoluted and unclear terms of service and privacy policy documents, knowing f full well users will find it far too tedious to read them before unwittingly agreeing to have their sensitive data accessed by third-party strangers. There is a complete lack of safeguards surrounding this data, and I'm particularly concerned with the implications that has on the sick, the elderly, the youth, and the military. Recent research from Duke University has found data brokers without any accountability can freely collect and share Americans' private mental health data. We have all heard about the national security concerns raised about the Chinese Communist Party-influenced ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok video app, operating in our country and collecting data on Americans while also having the ability to potentially manipulate American public opinion on any given subject matter. Well, the current state of play is that the, the current state of play in the data broker industry presents some of these same concerns. According to what we will hear today from these, our invited experts, data brokers gather, package, and advertise highly sensitive data on current and former members of the U.S. military, posing privacy and safety risks to all service members. This, in and of itself, could be considered a security risk if the data collected is identifiable. By collecting and selling data at will, these companies put all Americans at risk. I look forward to learning from our witnesses today more about how data brokers are collecting, packaging, and analyzing data on Americans and possible safeguards that we should explore. With that, I yield back and now recognize the ranking member of the subcommittee,